inside our earth. Interior of the earth. The earth, our home planet, is a dynamic planet that undergoes a lot of changes inside and outside, especially in the deepest interiors. The earth is made up of several concentric layers with one inside the other. The outermost layer is called the crust, which is the thinnest of all layers, with a thickness of about 35 kilometers on the continental masses and only 5 kilometers on the oceanic floors. The main constituent of the continental masses is silica and aluminum, which is also referred to as Cl, whereas the oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium and is therefore called Sima. Beneath the crust, there is a second layer, the mantle, which extends up to a depth of 2,900 km and a radius of about 3,500 km. The minerals that are mostly found in this layer are nickel and ferrous, which account for the very high temperatures in the interiors of the earth. Rocks and Minerals A natural mass of mineral matter that constitutes the earth's crust consists of rocks of different colors, sizes and textures. There are three major types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic. The formation of these igneous rocks or primary rocks as they are also called occurs when the molten magma cools and becomes solid. There are two types in these igneous rocks. They are intrusive and extrusive rocks. The lava, which is a fiery molten magma that comes out of the volcano, becomes hard when it touches the crust, forming extrusive igneous rocks. They have a very fine-grained structure. One of the examples is basalt. The Deccan Plateau is primarily made up of basalt rocks. When the magma cools down inside the crust, really hard and solid rocks are formed, which are called intrusive igneous rocks. An example of this type of rock is granite, which is used to make grinding stones. Sedimentary rocks are formed by a process when rocks roll down and hit each other and crack, forming sediments. These sediments are transported and deposited by wind, water, etc. They harden to form layers of rock called the sedimentary rocks. Sandstone is formed by these grains of sedimentary rocks. Under great heat and pressure, the sedimentary and igneous rocks transform into metamorphic rocks just the way in which clay changes into slate and slate into marble. Rocks, as we all know, are used to make roads, buildings and houses. You can look around you and see the different types, shapes and sizes of rocks. As we learnt before, rock changes its types under external conditions and this process of transformation is called the rock cycle. The first step of the cycle starts when molten magma cools and solidifies into igneous rock. Next, when these igneous rocks are broken down, they transform into sedimentary rocks. The cycle continues to when the igneous and sedimentary rocks that are subjected to heat and pressure change into metamorphic rocks. If these metamorphic rocks continue to be under heat and pressure, they melt to form molten magma, thus completing the entire rock cycle. Rocks also constitute minerals which are naturally occurring substances of different physical properties and definite chemical structure. They are used as petroleum, gas, aluminum, granite, etc.